Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to pass arguments to avoid external dependencies in a function. The last challenge was a step closer to functional programming principles, but there is still something missing. We didn't alter the global variable value, but the function incrementer would not work without the global variable fixed value being there. Um, Another principle of functional programming is to always declare your dependencies explicitly. This means if a function depends on a variable or an object being present, then pass the variable or the object directly into the function as an argument. Uh, there are several good consequences for this principle. The function is easier to test. You know exactly what inputs it takes, and it won't depend on anything else in your program. This can give you more confidence when you alter, remove, or add new code. You would know that you can, can or cannot change, and you can see what the potential traps are. Finally, the function would always produce the same output for the same set of inputs, no matter what uh, part of the code executes it. So let's update incrementer function to clearly declare its dependencies. Uh, we want to write the incrementer function so it takes an argument and then increases the value by one. So, so it takes an argument. So what we want to do is set the incrementer. We could be, your function incrementer should not change the value of fixed value. Your incrementer function should take a parameter. So um, maybe, uh, maybe the, the, it should take a, a, per, a parameter means it's going to take something here. So we're going to say um, value to increment. And so what we want to do now is say, instead of doing fixed value, which is outside of our, we want to return the value to increment plus one. And then, so this prints four as it's supposed to. And then if we console log the new value, which we're setting here, new value is set to incrementer plus, and then we're passing in the value to increment. I've made the parameter, so value to increment becomes fixed value, and so we pass in value to increment plus one. And so our new value is uh, saved as five, but our fixed value remains the same at four. And I think that should pass the tests. Cool, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.